mysterious island where some of the biggest great white sharks in the world collide with two-ton elephant seals. The ultimate hunt by the ultimate predator. Now we're going into the shark's world like we've never done before. For the first time, sharks stalking their prey deep beneath the surface. Yeah! We're ready with shark cam! From the eyes of the victim. Oh my god! Bad day to be an elephant seal. What could go wrong, right? Yeah, famous last words. Last year, Greg Skomel and the Shark Cam team made history by using a robot sub to track great white sharks stalking Cape Cod's crowded swimming beaches. Home to the epic movie Jaws, locals were warned just how close the sharks were coming to shore. Those people out of the water, you know, it's busting through to new things. No one's done it before. You know, we've done it. And it's just the beginning. This year, the Shark Cam team heads west for the Pacific, searching deep waters for great whites like never before. 250 miles off the coast of San Diego, they reach the southeast corner of the Great White Highway, Guadalupe Island. Guadalupe, Island of the White Stars. Absolutely spectacular. Man, it looks barren, doesn't it? So this is it. This is where the, the world's biggest white sharks hang out. If we've, if we've got a whole bunch of giant elephant seals around here, people think that these sharks are here to eat them. I want to see if that's true. Good morning. Joining them is a leading expert on Guadalupe sharks, Mauricio Hoyos. He's one of the only people to have seen evidence of great whites hunting elephant seals here. So, uh, have you seen seal carcasses? Yes. You have. I mean, uh, we are at the surface, and we yeah. saw the dead body of the seal with no head. So, yeah. it's, something is happening deep. Something is happening deep. 20 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters. You can see the shark. It's not in front of us. Six years ago, Mauricio witnessed a great white shark devouring an elephant seal. Could sharks be stalking and killing from the deep? But few have seen anything like this. Whoa! It's coming, it's coming, I got it coming. Mauricio has seen all this evidence of shark attacks, and he thinks the attacks are going on deep. We need to find out what's going on. We'll hit the road hard and run it. You know? To discover the secret hunting techniques of Guadalupe's great whites, Greg and Mauricio are on the lookout for the shark's favorite meal, fresh seal. And those, are those elephant seals? Yes, yes. all of them. All, all of those are elephants. Yes. There's about a hundred. There's a big, big female, and you can see that she's pregnant. The sharks are looking for this one. And right now, the big females are arriving. The big white sharks are waiting for them in deep waters. Yeah. Away from the shore. Yes, they're waiting for dinner. One of the largest seals in the world makes a terrifying run for shore. Every day, more and more arrive to mate and give birth. Greg and Mauricio locate the seals. Now they have to find sharks big enough to take down a two-ton elephant seal. This means going down into shark-infested waters. Here we go. First time in uh, water with these sharks here in Guadalupe, so I'm pretty excited. What could go wrong, right? Yeah, famous last words. Let's hope they're all home.
this one is even bigger, at least 18 feet, and could be more than 30 years old. Look how, look how white she is. I think she is pregnant. More than 100 great whites gather here at this time of year, <laughs> traveling more than a thousand miles from an area in the Central Pacific known as the Great White Cafe. She's the perfect giant to take on 16 feet of mega seal. Really big female, at least five meters long. Mauricio says he has never seen her before. Perfect attack. That's what we need to do. Let's mobilize. They're in the right spot to tag and track their first shark. So this is Shark Camp. This is one of the most sophisticated AUVs in the world. We've put 20 years of AUV know-how into building this. Six cameras are on board. One port and one back here. So as we get close to the shark, no matter what side we're on, we're going to be able to see it. Now the way we get close is that Greg is going to tag the shark with this, and we'll be able to follow it. All right. Roger, are you ready to go? Yeah, we're ready to go. It's a huge day. Preparations are coming to a close, and it's time to pull the trigger. My anxiety level's coming up a little bit, and I'm, I'm anxious. Get you, get you, get you. The big female disappears, but a new shark called Johnny arrives on the scene. He has a distinctive white spot on his second gill. The tag mounted on the harpoon is ready to go. He's <laughs> one of the sharks that comes to the island here after you. I am feeling a lot of anxiety, <laughs> but I'm extremely excited. Coming in hot. What a beauty! That was spectacular! Ah, things are heating up, including me. I get a copy of Come on! Greg has only seconds to land the tag within inches of Johnny Shark's dorsal fin. tag is already sending its coordinates to Shark Camp. Alright. Shark is 150 meters away with the tag and Shark Camp has, has a fix. It's turned. It's turned and it's homing in on the shark. Showtime. Johnny Shark is in sight. I can see the shark. It's right in front of me. You do? Yeah, the shark is right there. Man, you got good eyes, Mauricio. <laughs> It's, it's going to close on it. It's really just a, a, a game of Marco Polo over and over again. Shark Cam will go Marco, Transducer will go Polo, and will be able to follow it. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's, it's near the surface, and it's moving north. Yeah, roger that, Greg. Well, we're seeing the Shark Cam about 20 meters behind the shark. Over. About 15 feet behind it right now, 5 meters behind it. Shark Ham catches up with Johnny Shark for the first time. Let's get closer. <laughs> yeah. Woo. All right. Now we're going into the shark's world like we've never done before. Will Johnny Shark lure Shark Ham into his mysterious hunting grounds and reveal the ultimate attack? Shark is being followed by a robot sub in hot pursuit. The team is hoping to explain why no one has ever seen a great white attack an elephant seal on this mysterious island. You know, go to any of the hot spots around the world and you will see white sharks attacking seals at the surface. Sharks at 30 meters and diving. Yeah, you can see it. What happens when they get below the surface? You know, how do these animals attack? Where are they attacking? And not just 10, 20, 30 meters down. We're talking 100, 200 meters down. Really deep. Suddenly, Johnny disappears from view. It's 86. 200 feet. This is good. This is really cool. Well, he's going to the bottom. <laughs> Sharkan is trying to catch up. It's never tracked a great white into these depths before. 
their progress is monitored live on the dive boat. Everything from their depth, position, and speed records here. Right now, it's just struggling to keep up. The team has no idea if Shark Cam can follow a shark at these depths. It's still trailing behind. It's just, it just can't catch up. Okay. Oh, 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 look yeah. That. Looks like it, it just turned to the west. Well, we're seeing the shark cam about 20 meters behind the shark. Over. It is within 10 meters of it right now. It's right on top of it. Shark cam is now tracking the shark. Yeah. Woo. Oh, we're uh, awesome. the heart rate's going up. It's pretty awesome. Congratulations. Doing a nice job. Yeah, this is about as good as it gets. For the first time in the Pacific Ocean this has ever happened. At 300 feet below the surface, no one has ever tracked and filmed a great white at these depths. Johnny Shark gives the team a first-time view of how Guadalupe sharks hunt. Guadalupe Island is loaded with beautiful, clear water. You've got a shark that's forced to go down to depths. It's dark down there, and, and maybe they just know that this is, the, this is the zone where they can't be detected, but at the same time, they'll be able to see what's going on above them. Yeah, I mean, this shark... Technically at 150 meters deep. Yeah, we're at, we're at our cap depth speed, so we're hovering uh, above it, keeping up. Shark camp can't go below 300 feet, so shark camp's staying above it. But Shark Cam has a camera on the bottom. Maybe we'll be able to see something. For the next 90 minutes, Johnny Shark stays at over 300 feet deep. He covers three miles at a cruising speed of two miles per hour. Johnny heads straight for one of the largest elephant seal colonies. We're getting close to Twin Canyons. It's a very, very special place. Right here, it's Twin Canyons, where there's these two spillways come down, these little uh, ravines. This is the exact spot Mauricio saw the seals being eaten in 2008. Hey, look at the shark, look at the shark. This is in front of us, right in front of us. Johnny Shark is now just 100 feet from the shore, at a depth of 360 feet. Now, come on. Sun's getting low, light's right for an attack. This is the time of the day when we think white sharks feed. Johnny is in the strike zone. Almost invisible to seals swimming above. If you look at that, there's like a big, big female. And I think that the seals are taking advantage of the depth. And they are getting very close to the bottom in order to go to the shore. The seals dive to avoid detection, not knowing there's a great white deep below the surface. So the, the shark could be hunting right here, just, just off the shoreline. There's another one. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, what, are, what are you reading for a depth of the shark? So we should be seeing it within one of the six cameras on shark cam. huge male attacks the sub, and it's not Johnny. He bites with a force of up to two tons per square inch. In an extraordinary twist, Shark Cam becomes the prey and gets a seal's eye view of what happens when Jaws attacks at extreme depth. Yeah, light's getting low. Uh, what do you think we have a board on the, uh, on the track? The team wraps up the mission, but still have no idea the victim of this hunt is actually Shark Cam. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's got teeth marks! Oh my god! Whoa. There's teeth marks! Let me back, Tony! Oh, 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 o
still has no idea the true scale of the attack. You had a chance to look at the uh, video. What do you got? Oh, wow. So we were really close to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Well, that scared the hell out of me. That scared the hell out of me. I think that says it all, doesn't it, friends? Oh, that is incredible. That is just incredible. See the eye rolling back? Classic behavior of a white shark rolling its eye back to protect it during an attack. The brutal shark attack on the robot sub is a game changer. These bite marks are really revealing for the very first time how a white shark hunts at tremendous depth. Unfortunately, at the expense of shark cam. Greg imagines shark cam as the eyes of a two-ton seal. You come in from below, you come in fast, you come in furious, and you hit hard. Hit it where it's moving from. You know, in the case of an elephant seal, the time flippers. Witnessing the sheer power of the great white, the team prepares to dive into the strike zone. Next. You are bold. This flirting with disaster. The team watches in shock as giant great whites stalk their prey in a totally different way. We are seeing imagery that has never been captured before. We're watching white sharks 300 feet down. Their behavior when they're on the bottom, when they're moving along. We're even seeing what we think are attack sequences. How a shark might attack an elephant seal. Now that they've seen sharks stalk shark cam at death, the true test will be on an actual seal. Bad day to be an elephant seal. <laughs> oh my god. White shark right down there. It gets my attention when I hear white shark, I'll tell you that. It's when it gets closer that my heart starts to really beat. It's a big one. Uh, my wolf, our boat. It's right there. Looks like the same pregnant female we saw in the cage dive. At 18 feet. She's the giant seal eater they've been waiting for. This is her. This is my girl. Could be over six meters. She's coming. She's coming. The As they prepare to tag, it looks like she's going to get lucky. <laughs> Dancing right off its nose. Flirting with disaster. That's crazy. Look at this. You are bold. <laughs> Because the visibility here is literally tens of meters, sea lions see these white sharks, and they basically make fun of them. You know, the white sharks don't have a chance in attacking a sea lion. Why waste your time on a squirrely little thing when you can grab an elephant seal? There's more evidence of why Guadalupe's great white sharks hide in deep water, so they can attack without being seen. Oh, come on, come on. Give me a chance. Look closer. Look closer. The shark is hacked and takes off to hunt for seals. Yeah! <laughs> All right, now the game begins. The team ready shark cam to track her every move. female and you can identify her by a white spot in the right side of the dorsal fin. Beautiful, beautiful big female. She's fat. She looks huge. Very pregnant. Mauricio is deciding on a name. He's trying to pick one of the, uh, the two or three hundred girlfriends he's got. <laughs> so we are going to call her Lupita. It is Lupita, which is short for Guadalupe. I like that name a lot. Heavily pregnant, Lupita's trip is all about fattening up on elephant seals. She could give birth to up to 14 live pups, somewhere off the Mexican mainland in the spring. Each pup could be five feet long. Low 100 meters, and we're, we're diving to try and get up. As Shark Lupita heads straight for the depths, it's time to see if she's hungry. Closing the gap, I love it. This is going to be a great track. Here we go.
That's what we want. Lupita leads the robot sub up the coast, swimming at five miles per hour. She's hunting at depths of more than 300 feet. North Colony's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they're piled up on the beach there. It's the second largest elephant seal colony on the island, and Lupita is heading straight for it. This big boy? We're getting to the colony. Oh, yeah. That's an adult male. Lupita is now 400 feet below the seals. She's entering the strike zone. Get down on the bottom, you're dark. The seal looks down, all it sees is darkness. You look up, you see the silhouette of the seal. Suddenly, Lupita rises from the deep. She's ready to strike. Something is watching her. Is she confusing this sub for a seal? or protecting her hunting grounds. Retreating back to the deep, she dives out of sight. Wow, this is something very different. She's diving back down. She's at 91. We're seeing dramatic changes in depth, moving up from, you know, 150 meters to, you know, 90 meters very, very rapidly. These movements are very directed from the bottom up and then back down again, you know, means that there's some purpose to it, and that purpose is feeding. It's unusual behavior. We don't expect to see that at such great depths with white sharks. Back on shore, a giant elephant seal floats in the surf, unaware Lupita is hunting close by. He's getting into the seal colony. I see it. They're massive. That's a lot of blubber, a lot of meat. But Lupita is not the only shark stalking the seals. A 16-foot male arrives. He could be defending his turf. Yeah, the shark is about 150 meters. Lupita is at 480 feet and now barely visible. You can be detected pretty easily in this visibility, so you get down below that detection zone. As Lupita disappears from view, Sharkham hovers above. Shark cam is down. The mission is in jeopardy. Now we're showing the leak and the leak continuity. That's not good. And Shark Lupita has vanished. What's our depth now? We're up to 72 meters. We're climbing meters, really so we're climbing slow. slow. The faster we get the vehicle on board, uh, the better chance we have yeah. of saving it. Shark cam, the hunter, has become the hunter. This could be a serious compromise of, uh, of Shark cam. You know, mission ending kind of compromise. It's bad news any way you slice it. Real, real bad. White attack shark cam. All right, now we've got more failures. Uh, the thruster of the rudder. Uh, you know, all we can do is hope it comes to the surface. The mission to discover great whites hunting mega seals in deep waters is at serious risk. It's bad news any way you slice it. Real, real bad. The sub could sink. Now, this is a nail biter. Every um, yeah, I mean, 20 seconds, she's coming up five meters. Yeah. This is excitement I can do without. I see it! Oh. There it is, right down the surface. Right off our port bow. Uh, turn it off. Woo! All right, well, we got her back. Shark got pissed. Shark took a bite out of shark cam. Yep. Wow. Okay. Yep. Lots of water. Oh, the sheer force of the strike breaches Shark Cam's casing. Yeah, there's no chance that we're going to be back in business anytime no, today. No, we're not going back in the water. Let's cut our losses. This is a very expensive piece of equipment, you know, highly sophisticated electronics, and so understandably, Amy and Roger are hesitant to put her back in the water, and, uh, and that's killing me. The crew work through the night to try and repair the damage to Shark Cam. 
Como. What? We can proceed to get Shark Tank back in the water. Nice. Fantastic. You did? That's wonderful news. Oh. Greg, you don't know. I was, I, was, I was losing sleep last night over this one. I was worried. Nice. That's fantastic. Back in business. Back in business. This is Roger Happy. If I'm just happy, I'm happy. If we had to pull the plug now, I would have been devastated. So this is great news. Nice. What we're doing here is, is really making history. Is it risky to put Shark Camp back in the water? Absolutely. But we're on the verge of something amazing. It's worth the risk. Well, it's, it's that simple. And with so many other great whites around, there's a good chance Shark Camp could be attacked again. A lot of our observations so far of the attacks on Shark Camp have been from the camera mounted up on the top, looking back. So what that's giving us is the behavior of the shark after the attack. We don't know what's going on in terms of acceleration from the depths, whether it's moving, you know, from a great distance off, or is it just starting its acceleration close? Is it checking out the prey item first? In order to capture that, we're going to move the camera down to the underside of Shark Camp. Time to get back in the water. Seals are fat and sharks are hungry. We got a really big shark around the boat, and believe me, we could use it. Well, I don't know what kind of fish it is. It's a lot bigger than a goldfish. This is a big girl, huh? Huge. Could be over 20 foot long. The biggest people that I've ever seen go under. Yeah, yeah, we, it's been named. It is Deep Blue. Beautiful. So we're anxious to get a tag in this one. Really anxious. It's the first time Mauricio has seen this shark here. is almost as long as the 22-foot boat. She's one of the biggest great whites ever filmed and could be at least 50 years old. Too far. Too far. Coming around. Coming around. Coming around. Got her. Yeah. Deep blue is tagged and ready for action. Flashes on her left flank could be from fights with sharks or mating scars. With a massively swollen belly, she's heavily pregnant and likely to be hungry. Deep Blue leads them back to the Twin Canyons elephant seal colony. There's one with the scars inflicted by a white shark. There's another one, but they are already healed. Twin Canyons is the same place Johnny Shark hunted, and where Shark Cam was attacked for the very first time. Next, the team makes an amazing discovery. Oh! This is all happening 300 feet quick. A 20-foot great white shark called Deep Blue stalks a seal colony. It's one of the biggest sharks ever caught on film. This is a really big shark. Yeah, we've got her between the boat and the shore. This is spectacular. And this is when these animals feed. Two-ton elephant seals are in the water. The conditions are right for a deep water attack. You know, she may be staying deep again because it's so bright, but that's going to change in the next 15 minutes to a half hour. She's biding her time, you know, just biding her time, hanging deep, waiting for one of these seals to make a mistake. Nearly invisible, Deep Blue stays down at 300 feet, waiting for a seal to pass overhead. She can see 10 times better than us in low light. There's an elephant seal up there. I'm heading for the colony. <laughs> that's okay. If the team is right, Deep Blue will strike as the bulls dive deep and make a run for shore. Shark cam's right on top of the shark, sun setting behind the mountain. Um, and we're still tracking into the evening here, uh, right into hunting territory. So we're on edge. Deep blue stays deep. It's another shark that sneaks in for the attack. A smaller, 
aggressive male tries to stake his claim on the territory. some 150 feet vertically in three explosive seconds. The death blow would have hit the seal's vulnerable underbelly and inflicted massive flesh wounds. The good news is there doesn't seem to be a major malfunction here. It's the first time a vertical deep water strike has ever been filmed. Sharkam has given the team an unprecedented seal's eye view of a vicious and fatal deep water attack. That was a hell of a fish. Kudos to you guys again for doing a hell of a job getting it back together again and, uh, and having it work so damn well. <laughs> it's the evidence they've been searching for. Okay, we're looking down. That was the vertical attack. Straight from the depth, right up. Bang! She's fast. Absolutely okay. This is all happening 300 feet deep. I mean, this, is, this isn't at the surface. Mm -hmm. it, it, no one knew this was going on, except you. You know, and now you can see it. Yes. I mean, this is stellar. Absolutely spectacular observations. They've solved the mystery of how great whites hunt in Guadalupe's crystal clear water. The sharks hide deep, waiting for the seals to arrive. As they dive for sure, the sharks attack vertically, striking at death. As the body floats to the surface, they feast. We did it. Are you excited or what? Yeah, I'm really super excited. Yeah. <laughs> It's great to see that this turned out so well. It could have turned out really badly. It's a nail biter. Yeah. Still has some nails left though. For next time. <laughs> I've been trying to test this for years. And now with the AUV, we have it. I'm extremely happy. I'm really ecstatic about what we've been able to achieve here. You know, it's been a hell of a, hell of a good adventure. A great adventure for me. You know, it's almost just starting. 